So I'll start by saying that I'm no expert at any of this. I married the only girl I ever took on a date. Um, but I do know that I've been learning for almost five years for this very moment. Love each other. Be actively in love every minute of every day. Thank God for each other every chance you get and that there's no one on earth more important than each other. Forgive. It means you love somebody even though they aren't perfect and remembering that they mean more to you than the sum of their faults. The day is an adjustment from being just by yourself to being together. From this point forward, you will share your common possessions, your passion, your problems, your personal relationship with Christ. Be there for each other. Be physically present. Even if you have to set everything else aside, be there to celebrate or cry or laugh or grieve. You'll forget the times that you didn't have to be there, but you'll always remember the times that you should have been. Will, it's important that you understand what that walk down that aisle means to you. It stands for every day of her life. It stands for the day that she learned how to crawl, she learned how to walk. It's important, Will, that you love your wife more than you love yourself. Besides your relationship with Christ, nothing else can come before that, before her. Because if for him to stand here and to wait on you, it means that God has molded him for only just for you. It's important that you understand it does represent also his relationship with Christ. Every day of who he has become in order to be the right husband for you. Not perfect, but the right husband for you. Um, I received this last night at the uh, rehearsal dinner from Mackenzie. It says, Dad, today a bride, tomorrow a wife, forever your little girl, Mackenzie. Can't believe it's here already. Been a long time coming, but uh, it's going to go great. Um, she's genuinely a nice person and, and you know, likes everybody and gets along with everybody. Uh, I'm hoping I don't get too emotional, but I think I might. You look beautiful. So Mackenzie, since you were little, I knew there would always be a time when some lucky guy would ask for your hand in marriage. And over the years, you think to yourself what you're going to say to this person to make sure that he knows how Yvonne and I would want you treated. Will, I couldn't think of a better son-in-law than you. Mackenzie, I knew you were going to be such an independent person from the time you were little. There was never a doubt you would be successful in your personal and professional life. Your mom and I couldn't be more proud of the person you become. I love you, honey. The love you have for each other is the most important thing. Share your goals, share your interests, and have each other's back. I love you. God bless. Mackenzie Kelly. By now you know, I'm a big picture thinker and always look into the future. From the minute we met, there was no question I was going to marry you. <laughs> you were the one for me. I couldn't put my finger on it then, but there was something about you that I could not get enough of. Whether it was your personality or your contagious laugh, I didn't know, but I was hooked. I promise to always be the shoulder you can lean on, or when you dance too hard the night before, be the shoulder you can press your little head on. <laughs> I promise to never let us settle for anything less than the absolute best version of ourselves in our marriage and for our family. I'm excited to take on any challenge with you side by side for the rest of my life. I love you forever and always. As this day got closer and closer, people would start to ask me, when did I know Will was the one? I would always tell them that I honestly can't remember a time after we met that we weren't together and in love. I remember that we met and that was the end of the story. It's really no surprise that I have written down a sentence a day in a journal every single day for the past going on seven years. November 20th, 2016, I wrote first date with Will Monday at Village Draft House. 
December 16th, 2016, we officially became boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> January 29th, 2017, I can honestly say I'm falling in love with him. I want to start by promising in the same unwavering way I did at the beginning of our story to love you unconditionally. I promise to support your dreams, celebrate your accomplishments, and challenge you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to make an effort to show you how much you mean to me each and every day, even if that means honoring your love language and buying you more gifts. And I promise to never take our time for granted because you're the best thing that ever happened to me. You are something I was looking for since I was 20 years old when I also wrote exactly what kind of guy I wanted to marry in one of my many journal entries. When you tell me you love me, I often reply with I love you more. I want you to know that when I say I love you more, I don't mean I love you more than you love me. I mean I love you more than the bad days ahead of us and more than any fight we will ever have. I love you more than anything that could ever come between us. I didn't know if I would ever find you, but now that I have you, I know I can't ever live without you. I can't wait for the rest of our lives together. I love you more. It's my honor to introduce for the very first time in public. Y'all give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Monday. daughter and after this I'm gonna need a strong drink and as George Banks would say in Mackenzie's favorite movie father of the bride if you love him so much then we're gonna love him too Cheers. thank God for each other every chance you get. I'm so proud to be a part of this moment as you start your lives together. She adored you from the start, and the best part is, I know you did too. I can see it the way you grab her hand when you're about to walk across the street, how you put your hand on her lower back just to let her know you're there. Because I know you're going to take care of her because you've been doing it since day one. Your parents have raised you to be such an incredible man and I don't think a person in this room would say otherwise. Your husband and wife, according to these witness of Christ and this holy church and law of the state of Texas, become one. Fulfill your promise of love and serve. The most important, serve the Lord together. Will, <laughs> you've always been a better brother than I deserve. If mom was here, she would be so proud to see the person you've grown into. And Mackenzie, the highest praise I can give you is to say that I think mom would have liked you and would have been proud to call you her daughter. We love you so much, and here's to Will and Mackenzie. Thank you to our wonderful friends and family who not only helped today, but who have stood by us over the years and who have been there when we needed someone. You guys all know who you are. We couldn't be the couple we are today without all of you that are in this room. We love you all. Cheers. Well, we thank you for today. We pray, God, that this marriage may glorify you from this point on. We thank you for this beautiful weather. Most important, we thank you for Will and Mackenzie. In Jesus' name, amen. You may kiss your bride, my brother. It's my, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Will and Mackenzie. 